to everyone that's like, share, subscribe if you purchased a reading or if you've donated to my page. Thank you. This energy could be masculine or feminine. You guys place it on whatever side you need to, okay? So you guys got aquamarine. Some of you may have a Libra in your chart or someone that's a Libra around you. Now you have divine life purpose. Trust the signs and your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. So Spirit is saying just, you know, be in alignment with Spirit. Do what you need to do to stay aligned. To stay in tune. Listening to your intuition. You guys may be having some uh, dreams right now that you really need to pay attention to. You may want to sleep with a pad and a pen next to you so that you can write these dreams down. So that you can try and piece them together at a later date. You've been looking at the signs and synchronicities around you. You've been paying attention. You may have spirit animals around that has been watching you as well. I know that the other day I went outside and um, something told me to look up. And then, you know, the sky was so blue. But then all of a sudden, all of these hawks are big birds, like big. Yeah, they look like hawks, y'all. They just came from nowhere, okay? And they were all over top of my house, like circling. It, it had to be about 12 of them. And then, you know, as I was looking, I was amazed. Like I was staring up into the sky and I was just twirling, like looking like, oh, wow. And as I was twirling, they were twirling, right? And so I said, I'm going to look away. And then once I looked away, I looked up again and they were gone. I got all the way to my car. Then I looked up again and they had came back. So I knew, you know, I was being watched over. And some of you are going to need to look around you for something of that nature. You know, if that's happening, maybe a rabbit's around you or a deer could be watching you or a bird could be uh, next to you, butterflies, stuff of that nature. I know we're going into, you know, colder months right now, but um, just pay attention. You guys also have rubellite. Passion and purpose, your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart. And this is your spiritual path. You're being called to figure out where it is that you fit in, in this spiritual nature, okay? What is it that you could be doing to help others? What is it that you're already doing to help others? Spirit wants you to really figure it out because this is what your calling is. And it's almost like with everything that's going on in the world, we're all being called to get to another place. And it's, this is possibly a place that we didn't even know that we were going. But because of the pandemic and stuff of that nature that we've been going through, you know, our needs, are, um, our soul cravings are changing. And some of the things that were important before are not. And some things that were, you know, were not important before are. Okay, so you guys take it how it resonates. But everything may not be the way that it was when it comes to what you put a priority level on. You feel me? You know, so I know, you know, 10 years ago, I probably wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now. But because I know how much my voice and how much my gift is needed in the world. This is what I'm doing. No matter how many times I don't feel like doing it or I'm tired or whatever. Like, I don't know if you guys know, I'm a network engineer. Okay. I work today. <laughs> I work 13 hour days, guys. Right. But then the minute I get ready to lay down and say, you know, I'm so tired. I can sleep. You know, I get up out the bed because I know that it could be someone that needs me right now or needs this message that I have. So that's what keeps me motivated, staying in tune um, and just being here for you guys. You know what I mean? So let's see what's going on here. Okay, so we're going to go with passion and purpose first, Spirit. Thank you. 
Okay, so you guys are trying to figure out what your path is right now. You may be a little bit frustrated because things are not coming to you, but they are coming to you. What is, is what Spirit is telling me? They're giving you these ideas. You're not really paying attention to them or they're giving you these synchronicities that you are, you're not seeing right now. And it could be because you guys have some blockages up in your life that you need to get rid of. Okay, some things you need to heal. Some things you need to let go of. Because what it's doing is it's putting an energetic boundary in your life to where you're not able to see the things that you need to see to go forward. Okay, yeah, this can be very frustrating. Right? You can feel like your life has no content right now. Like you're restless. Like you don't know what you're supposed to be doing. But, but a part of you too has this little angst with you where you're anticipating whatever is to come in your life. Right? But you know something big is coming you you feel that something is good but you just don't know how to get there right but but this is where you are right now okay right so spirit is saying that your time is here they're trying to give you the motivation the luck the courage the get up and go that you need to get on your path and do the things that you need to do Right? You're going to have good luck. You're going to have good things happening to you. But because you haven't seen it start yet, you may be a little bit skeptical. You know? For some of you, you're having to end a cycle. And you may not know how. And some others may not even want to end the cycle. Okay? But just understand that if you're not ending something that is being called to come to an end in your life, that is now a blockage or a hardship, okay? Because you're going to have to get around that or get that away from you for you to see the clear path ahead of you, okay? So that may not resonate with everyone, but you guys got to understand the universe wants to bring you some good shit, but they can't bring it to you or give it to you until you're ready to receive it. And you will not be ready to receive it until you've done the work on yourself, right? Because this is where you are. You're still burdened. You still have those hardships that I was just talking about. Ten of Wands energy. There's some things that you need to release. There's some people, some problems. There's too many responsibilities you're too stressed out you got too much going on in your head right you got a lot of delays in your life because of it because you're just burnt out you don't even have the energy to keep going yeah you can make progress here and there but you're moving in slow motion you know it's almost like you know it's like you're on an escalator going backwards that's what it feels like you know, you can take 15 steps forward, but you're still going to go backwards, you know, and you guys got to figure out what it is that's making you be on that escalator so that you can get off of it. Okay, right? Five of Wands. You guys got competition or you may feel like there's competition, lots of arguments, squabbling, conflict, fighting, disagreements, bull crap. Okay, your temper may be popping all the time. Spirit is saying, this is what you need to let go. Okay? Something that is meant to be, it's not going to be this hard, my loves. It won't. Okay? And sometimes, there are moments when you feel like if something is not a struggle, maybe it ain't for you. Because that's you being used to the struggle, right? But Spirit is trying to pull you up out of it and tell you that there's other things that you're meant to do. Other people you're needing to meet. And other things that you're meant to see. Okay? And when it comes to this divine life purpose, right? You're going to have a lot of different options. And Spirit is saying that you need to explore what those are now, right? With this pathway... Right? You've got two different paths you can take and you may be afraid to do it. But with that comes options of what you can do after that with the Seven of Cups energy. You don't want to sit there and dream about your possibilities okay, or what, what you could do. You don't want to overly um, 
like overwhelm yourself. And, you know, if you get overwhelmed, what that's going to lead to is you being stagnant or you procrastinating and not moving forward. The spirit doesn't want you to do that either. <sighs> you thinking too much, okay, or daydreaming or something of that nature, it's not going to be uh, something that gets you motivated right now. It's just going to put you into a state of confusion. And that is what I'm saying. Everything comes into place and works the way that it needs to work when everything is freed up to do so. And you guys have so many blockages that you need to work on, heal and release, that everything is going to make, uh, make you a little bit crazy right now or anxious. Okay? So you guys want to move towards a relationship. You want to move towards a higher level of understanding of spirit. You guys, some of you could be reverends. You could be priests. I don't know who I'm speaking to right now, okay? But some of you can have an alternative lifestyle like I do to where you're coming in on a spiritual level, you know? So you guys take it how, how it resonates with you. Some of you could be battling between what you need to do spiritually and what you've been taught religiously. This could be why you're so frustrated because you can have things that you believe on both sides and not really know how they tie in together. And sometimes, guys, it's, it's something that really doesn't need to tie in it just needs to make sense to you okay you don't need to know every answer on this path you just need to understand your intuition and when you're being called to do something you just move on it right this is trusting you first and foremost and you're never going to do you wrong okay you're not like the rest of the world now with this hierophant energy this could be a mentor, a spiritual guide, someone has a business. You accessing your higher power, like I said. You getting educated and elevating and ascending up the path um, to a different level of some nature. Yep, becoming a spiritual teacher or... Um, Maybe a trainer or you guys could be having like maybe an alternative marriage or situation in your head. But you know what it is, okay? I'm just putting some things out there of what it could be. Ace of Pentacles, this is that start. But you're going to have some slick people around you that's going to be trying to hinder your path with this fox in here. Ace of Pentacles is a new job, a career, a business, like I was just saying. This is some form of divine gift that you may be honing in on and may not be too sure about. <clears throat> but you're needing to move gradually, steadily towards um, your intention, whatever that is. You're the person that makes this up of what it is that you feel comfortable with doing. Okay. Um, I know when I started this path, Spirit was telling me, you know, tarot, tarot, tarot in my ear. And I'm like, I don't know how to do tarot. You know, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. And I kept hearing it, you know. Spirit is saying, you know, we're going to guide you. We're going to give you what you need. You just need to do what we ask you to do. And some of you may need to tap into that energy. Okay. For some of you, you feel like oh, there's a couple of things you may have lost out on. Maybe some opportunities didn't come through for you. Um, and just know that those opportunities didn't come through because they weren't meant to, my loves. Because you were meant to do something else, okay? Now, with this devil energy, I feel like you may have things that may be uh, clouding your judgment right now a bit. People, places, or things that you may have on your mind that could be toxic and all of the toxicity needs to be removed from your life right now all of it 
okay? You could be addicted to a person or they can be addicted to you. Could be some sort of codependency. You guys are needing to be around a person, needing to speak to them, needing to hear from them. All that shit has to go. You may be resisting change because you don't know which direction you're, doing, you're, you're going in, but I'm going to need you to have that fool spirit, even though that card is not here, so that you can make some changes in your life and do some things other than what you would normally do to get you to the place where you need to be. Yeah, I'm calling on you to make some changes, my loves. You guys need to understand that you are in control of your destiny. Nobody else. Don't give your power away. Don't be manipulated. You know? Don't allow those people in sexually or mentally. Because they're just going to break your focus and your concentration. And you're not going to hit your mark. You're not going to do what you need to do. You can have a whole bunch of deceptive people around you right now. Because these both these end cards are conflict and chaos. So you guys are having to dodge that world right now to get to where you need to be. And that's why it's so frustrating. Because you just don't know what to do first, second, and third. But guess what? If you keep being in faith and keep doing what you need to do, speaking to your higher self, you will be guided directly to where you need to go. All right? I'm sending you guys love and light, my dears. You guys take care.